Next. Activision has ceased and desisted two Call of Duty projects. X Labs and SM Squared receive a cease vision for trying to revive old Call of Duty titles. Okay. Um, two projects that were working to bring back Call of Duty titles have received a cease and desist from Activision. Um, X Labs was planning to bring the original Modern Warfare 2, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3 back to the community. SM Squared was going to bring back the original Modern Warfare 2 with the intention to mash up all the previous Call of Duty titles and it was going to be released for free. Both projects had fans excited over the potential resurgence of former Call of Duty titles that were immensely popular throughout the years. These devs had this project for several years before recently being shut down. Um, the X Labs project made it, this announcement in a tweet earlier this week. Today we have received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in retaliation to the X Labs project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you for all your support over the years. SM Squared released a statement earlier on Twitter also regarding the cease and desist letter. Today, a team member received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in retaliation to the SM Squared project. We are complying with the order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you for all your support over the past two years. X Labs was in the midst of creating dedicated servers to fan favorite Call of Duty titles and an anti cheat software, which is something current players have dealt with daily in gameplay and have begged Activision to address. They've shown signs of fixing the hacker issue, but have failed to meet the standards of most players. According to AFK Gaming, SMP was developing 100 plus weapons with attachments and camos, 24 perks, unique progression systems, and much more which Call of Duty lovers have been asking for in new and future titles. They also announced that three maps, Getaway, Hard Hat, Hard Hat and Shipment, were going to be implemented in the release. With Activision shutting down any development company that is creating a game in relation to Call of Duty, we won't see new and improved versions of titles that Call of Duty players fell in love with over the years. Activision yet has yet to comment on this situation, but if they do, very unlikely, we will update the story with more information. <clears throat> So, does it surprise you that uh, these Call of Duty like fan projects were shut down? Well, that's that's kind of stupid on on Activision's part because what I hear in detail, based on other gamers who are well involved with the, the Call of Duty franchise, they say that now that the, the, they cease to desist on the old games that you can still play on through the Steam library, but also the support behind fixing the original copies of these these digital games on the Steam library, you cannot fix them at all anymore. You cannot play them at all because once they get rid of the those mods and those other um, gestures and helping the uh, fixing the problem, the but this activist couldn't fix it from the start, and it was m very bare minimum of activists part to fix the matter. That's when you know it, it, you cannot play the games at all. And if you try to play the games at all, like Black Ops Three, Call of Duty Black Ops Two, uh, those type of games, you know, they're not supported with uh, with proper. Uh, modest support, you know, in order to play properly on the PC version, let alone the PC version. So it's kind of like a bit baffled to what Activision was doing. And that surprised the crap out of me because how can it that people doing it for free to fix your game and you don't hire them to fix your game completely and to have a cease and desist on the matter and you're not going to fix them at all after that cease and desist? Why are you still selling it on the Steam library as we speak of this recording, of this live stream, of this, this, this podcast? It's still there, last time I checked, like, earlier today, earlier this week. I'm like, what's wrong with Activision to still sell these games? What they should do is have a, a warning label, say that warning, the game is not fully fixed, play at your own risk. And have a discount on the matter, too. This is what I don't understand. That I understand where they come from, these younger gamers who told me about this stuff. Tell me that the Activision just, like, just it's about power, pretty much, what I realized with, these, with Nintendo, Activision, with their copyright laws and copyright infringements or copyright claims. It's all about, it's not about money. It's not about, uh, like, you know, who has the most resources, about who has the power over others. That's all it is, it's about power and control. In my, in my opinion, that is. And my Activision done, done dirty to these gamers who paid so much into the system of these of the franchise, and they still sell them the bundle on fucking Steam for a thousand dollars for all Call of Duty games, from Call of Duty One to Call of Duty, um, what's it called, uh, Modern Warfare 2022 or 2019, 
or or Black Ops Cold War even. How do you sell that? So sell that for a thousand dollars on Steam Library, and half of your, if not three fourths of all your games are not are not properly fixed from all the hacker um, modifications, or hacker um, bombardment, if you want to call it like that. This doesn't make this doesn't make any sense, Triple J. It really doesn't. Yeah. Um, when you explain it like that, you know, obviously, uh, Activision Call of Duty is Activision's property, but yeah, you're right. I mean, if they're still selling the games and they're not fixing them. Why not give people the chance to fix them? You know, they, these these additions were going to be added for free, so it's not like they were going to be making money off the Call of Duty uh, modifications. They were just trying to fix it so it would be more enjoyable for PC players. So, I mean, yeah. but unfortunately, these whatever these companies were working on, uh, they they had they received a cease and desist, and they're going to... Uh, and they're going to have to adhere to it because I bet you Activision could hire much better lawyers than these companies could. So, hey, you know what? I can understand the fact that Activision is trying to promote or about to soon promote uh, a huge bundle of HD ports and next gen, 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 gen consoles or whatever the current gen is for the for these consoles. Okay, fine, but for the PC gamers, I mean, like. Why not just put a, a warning label before before downloading it? You know, it's just that's all you got to do is just let yeah. Because we as to we're, we're first we're obviously we're gamers, but first we're consumers based on the economics of this matter. So we based on the JFK Consumer Bill of Rights, we have the right to be informed about what's happening to the product and or service of that product. And then that's what they did. They they, they violated that that right the right to be informed and right to be educated in the matter too. So that's that's Activision. Lawsuit, lawsuit towards Activision, and, I, that's, and if we get gamers together, that's what I try to tell these younger guys. Instead of bitch and whine and moan in a circle jerk with your with you guys, or put on 4chan or forums, why not just send a letter or petition or some form of law, class action lawsuit against these companies? I personally myself, I can't say much about it because I don't play Call of Duty games like that, so I can't. I don't even have uh, that many. Uh, Call of Duty. Game. I do have a lot of Call of Duty games like Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops One, uh, Black Ops Two. Uh, I'm about to buy Black Ops Three sometime this year. I'm not sure when though. Then I have um, Infinite Warfare. I have uh, Cold War, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's like, yes, I, can, I, I'm a good call, I have a Call of Duty gamer, but I'm not a huge fan, dedicated fan to do, and delving into this matter in this detail. So that's why I'm saying to, to those who are out there who are big avid Call of Duty fans and you fix the games, you buy the games to make sure it work well, get organized, get together. You know, it's it's not that hard. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's like, it's tedious, but it's, it's worth it if you want to get if you want to get things done with these game companies. Because they can't keep doing this to game, us gamers forever and ever. They just can't. Yeah, well, they did it here, so unfortunately it's going to continue, at least for now. Uh, ready to move on? Yeah, let's go. All right. Next, another wrestling game. WrestleQuest gets August release date. 